Just days after, a 17-year-old girl announced that she had been assaulted by numerous men and wanted to report it to police. She went missing. Just a coincidence? Let's talk about one of Little Rock, Arkansas's most high-profile cold cases, the disappearance of Ebby Stepick. In 2015, Abby was 18 years old and finishing her senior year in high school. At the beginning of the school year, she moved out of her parents' home because she wanted independence, and she spent most of her school year going back and forth between her grandparents' home and her friends' houses. On October 24th, 2015, Abby showed up at her mom's home and informed her stepfather that the night before, she had been assaulted by four individuals and she wanted to report the incident to the authorities. She stated that her assault had been recorded on a cell phone. Later that evening, when Abby's mother returned home and her husband both tried to reach her by phone unsuccessfully. Her stepfather suspected that Abby might have gone to retrieve the video of her assault so that she could use it as evidence. That evening, two phone calls lasting about a minute each were made to the Little Rock Police Department from Abby's phone, but the police department claimed they had no record of either of these phone calls. Cell phone records also showed that Abby texted numerous men who were involved in her assault and had threatened to go to the police and report them. The last contact anyone had with Abby was the following day, on October 25th, around 2 p.m., her brother Trevor stated he received a phone call from her he also stated that she seemed disoriented when he was speaking to her on the phone she initially said that she was outside Trevor's house but once he hung up the phone and went out to the street to meet her she was nowhere to be found when he had called her back and stated that she was parked in her car but was unsure where she was and after stating that she was messed up the call ended that was the last contact anyone had with Abby. On October 27th, Abby's car was found abandoned in a parking lot by a security guard near Shelament Park. The guard notified police and waited two hours for them to arrive, but they never did. When he arrived to work the next day after doing his rounds and found the car was still there, he contacted the police again. This time, they did show up about an hour later, and upon their arrival, they discovered it was in fact Abby's car. The car had an empty gas tank and a dead battery, and the key was still in the ignition. Several searches in the park turned up no additional evidence. According to a report made in 2017, all the men Abby had accused of assault had been interviewed by the police, but none of their cell phones were searched for the alleged video. Abby's mother and brother appeared on Dr. Phil in December of that year to help bring more attention to her case. Abby Stepik's remains were found at a Little Rock Park, and her story continues to capture the nation's attention. Today, Abby's mother, Lori, appeared on the Dr. Phil show with new heartbreaking details. She was identified how? Through her jewelry. What have you done with her jewelry? I have it on. pictures we showed with this jewelry mm -hmm. looking for had anyone seen it did anyone recognize it and it was found on her little rock police continue to investigate ebby's death as a homicide the state crime lab has yet to release a cause on march 24th 2018 while performing another search of the park police found skeletal remains near the drainage ditch close to where Abby's car had been found. found at West Little Rock's Chalamont Park. This is near the location where Abby Stepik's car was found shortly after she disappeared in late 2015. TV 11's Caitlin Gardenhire is monitoring this story for new developments and what are we learning Caitlin? Police found human remains inside Chalamont Park about 1030 this morning. Since then, they have been out here. Little Rock Police, the FBI, the coroner, Public Works Department. We are getting a first look. The tape has just been taken down. This is a first look at where the human remains were found. This is the drainage pipe that they have been digging up since 1030 this morning. So this could be huge news. This is the same park police last searched in 2016 in connection with the disappearance of 
Abby Stepik. She was 18 years old when she disappeared in 2015, and this is the park where her car was found. October of 2021 marked six years since Abby's death, and her case still remains unsolved to this day.